Afternoon, everybody. Here we are again. I'm losing track of the days. Uh, Monday. Yes, it's Monday. Did you all have a good weekend? Was it nice enough for you, the weather-wise? I mean, we had a bit of rain yesterday, but you can imagine where we were. So it didn't really matter. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I'm just really happy that I can keep going and I can keep sort of providing you with the, the equipment and the tools and everything that you need. Plus, these Facebook live sessions, they're an absolute... Oh, just, I just really enjoy doing them. So I hope, uh, I hope you do too. And of course, we're well into our sort of second stage now. We're on tile number 15 today, as you can see. There we go, number 15. Um, I'm hoping to do, well, I am, I'm not hoping to, I am going to be doing a black tile on Wednesday. So uh, that's something to look forward to. Having said that, if you don't have any black tiles, it doesn't matter, you can use any colour. Um, obviously, if you're going to just use a normal white tile, then you just use your black pen as normal, but um, it's quite exciting using black tiles. Anyway, for now though, you can see here that I've cut my tile up into four pieces. So, here we go, there's as it was. Now, it, it needs to be sort of close, even if you have to fold it or whatever. I know I've not made it easy to measure, because cutting these squares, they're now 4.15 centimetres. Sorry about that but I wanted my own size, so that's what I got. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hi, Rita. Okay, so hopefully we've done that. I have just sort of squeezed my name and date into there. That just sort of helps me remember where we're at. And so I'm going to now turn them over because this is what we're working on. It's almost like instead of working on large, we're on a miniature sort of tile spree now. Okay. Oh, from New York. Hello there. Welcome. Oh yes, and the emergency kit twos are arriving. That's great news. So pleased. I bet you'll, you'll be excited. Don't open it yet though. Bit of a surprise in there. Okay, so let's work on let's work on one to start with. And as you can see, I'm in with my pencil. And I'm going to just use one corner here. And I'm going to just put a mark. Imagine, say the thickness of my pencil there. So let's just put in a mark there and a mark there. So see the thickness of my pencil about the same there. You see? Okay, so let's go in a bit closer so you can see that. Oh, Bridget, wait, still waiting for kit one. I hope it's not got lost. But we don't know at the minute, do we? There's so many problems with the post. Okay, you can see here that I've put another tile over the top of this one, just so I can now copy that mark onto there. And then the same onto there. See that? So now I've got two that have got that same mark. Oh, hey, Mary. I'm glad you found me. So then I'm going to turn it around. So you see now I've got those marks at this end. And I'm going to mark up this end as well. So following that one again, there. And then that one again, there. So you can see, there we go. Looking at just that one, I've got a mark in this corner and I'm marking this corner. So let's uh, let's go back in and do the same on this one. So I'm marking sort of diagonally and I want it to be very similar. Oh yeah. So there's two. Moving that to one side. I'm gonna do the same with the other one. Okay, sorry if I'm not saying hi to everybody. It's, it's, it's tricky reading messages, trying to look past the camera and sort of putting marks and working on my tile at the same time. I'm not ignoring you, I promise. I do go up, I do go back afterwards and I read all these messages. It's just lovely. It makes me to feel, you know, feel that I'm not alone. Not that I'm not alone. I've got my husband here with me, but you know, sometimes it's nice to have <laughs> to hear a crafter's voice. <laughs> he's not a crafter. I would say he's a reluctant tangler. I'm still trying to get him to have a go. I think he's hiding a secret stash somewhere. <laughs> oh, that's my, but yeah, they will. They'll be there. I mean, I know there is a lady that's waited like 10 days, which is annoying. And it's really frustrating. I'm in the same position myself. Um, you know, trying to order things or try even as a, as a supplier getting stuff in. It's, it's a little bit scary at times, but we get there. So deep breath. We're all calm. Okay, so there we go. You can see that each tile now, I've got these little marks 
the diagonals. I mean, if I turn it round, it doesn't really matter. You can see as long as you've got them sort of on the diagonals. Okay. So I'm going to move three out of the way and I'm going to just work on the one for now. So when we go, there we are. Back in with a pen so we don't need our pencil torch on for a little while. All right, are we ready for this? Okay. So I'm going to go from the end of the tile to where that mark was originally, see there? And then there's the mark at the end of the tile there. And I'm going to create a bit of a line and you'd be pleased to know it's certainly not going to be straight unless you want it to be and then the same on the other one okay so going back into these little lines i'm going on on the inside section i'm just going to add some little bobbles and just sort of make that line a little bit more irregular so i don't know if you um seen on facebook this morning pat has sort of recorded all the tangles and all the patterns that we've used so far and she's filling them up in her diary so if you've got your uh, your 2020 diary it's, a, it's an ideal place to put them it's great to see it filling up but you'll be amazed at how many ta sort of uh, tangles we've actually done okay you see that fill those in there So bringing in, I'm going to move it to one side and I'm going to do the same. <laughs> be like Christmas. <laughs> yeah. How far away is that? Yeah. Hope, uh, hope we're not going to be queuing outside shops really at Christmas. You know what the weather can be like in this country. It's going to get a bit cold. At least we don't have to worry about that for now. But, you know, it's another way of getting a little bit of fresh air, isn't it? Oh, oh honestly, don't worry, you're not behind at all. You just go along with these videos at your leisure. There's no rush and there's no uh, there's no panic to get everything done. And even if, you know, some of them you might think, you know, some of them are not for you. You don't want to do them, that's fine. Just pick and choose. Yeah, the whole idea is that you find something that's going to take your mind off things for a little bit. And you're going to relax whilst you're doing it and then you know, hopefully you'll have a bit of fun, mix things up a little. And try a few bits from different places and see what happens. And just because I'm using this particular pattern here doesn't mean that you can't go and use it on one of the others if you want to. You can, you know, switch things around a bit. I'm just the catalyst, I'm just giving you some ideas and showing you how you can do it and then you're the creator, you're the ones that are doing these wonderful pieces of work. Just, uh, I'm just helping you out. There we go. I feel like I'm, I've picked the pace up a little bit today because we're, although we're working on the same size tile, it feels like we're working on more because we've got four. But well, they're the same size. It's a whole lot. There we go. Alright. There we go. So I've got that going on. See? So, so far it doesn't matter which way they go at all. It's just that um, if I look back at where my little lines were. See? Okay. <laughs> A giraffe. Do you know my husband once, I said to him, what do you want for Christmas? And he said a giraffe. So I actually went out my way. Not that I found him a real giraffe, but I did actually find a wooden one. And it still sits in our living room to this day. So be careful what you wish for. Are we ready then? I'm going to stick with this sort of pattern, but in a slightly different way. Oh, Sally, yeah, I hope we're back. Well, your pens will be drying up. So I'm going to work now on this section here. I mean, it doesn't matter which which end, but I'm working definitely on one of the ends. So don't don't start adding things into the middle at the stream here. We just want the ends, okay? So I'll start with a dot. Let's go a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing. Hey, Karen, how's the pup? Is he growing? Is he chewing things? Mine, mine likes my slippers. He's not chewing them, but... He likes to sort of move them about the house a bit. Um, 
but he's definitely, yeah, definitely growing. All right, you can see here, I've, I've started with a bit of a swirl, but as I'm going along, I'm adding in some of these extra blobs or bobbles, whatever you want to call them, you see? And I'm trying to sort of be a little bit random, so I'm not adding them in the same place every time. And I'm not worrying about whether it's going out of shape or not, because who knows what shape it's going to end up. Sort of a swirl. So you can see where it's the same pattern, but when you put it into a spiral, it, it changes the focus a little bit. I'll do another little bit there. Oh, you won't know I don't think I was early. I think I've just cracked on a little bit. Don't worry about it though. I can always catch up in a, a little while. Right, I'm gonna, gonna leave it there. So then I'm gonna do the same again, another dot. Oh, let's move it in a bit. And, <laughs> hey Leslie. You wonder what you've been doing this morning. <laughs> So I'm starting again and I'm creating a swirl and then I'm adding some of these little bobbles. Oh Bernadette, does that mean in the register you get a red owl next to your name? <laughs> Do you know when I first started teaching? It's make, make, gonna make me sound old now. I did used to have to do a paper register and it, it was a red pen for owls. It's not for long though, it did soon turn to using a a computer but the system wasn't up and running you couldn't uh, you couldn't do your register then you had to go and fetch a paper one anyway uh. <laughs> oh, <Karen. laughs> yeah Benji tries to take the label out of my slippers whether they're on my feet or not so I'm not quite sure the labels in there anymore I think he's eating it When you think he's a shelty, we think we've been, I don't know, perhaps shortchanged a bit. We think we've got a rough collie in the making. He's getting that big. He's bigger than Seth. And he just, I don't know, he eats for like six of them, I'm sure. Not on puppy food anymore, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> okay, so you can see I'm just, I'm, stop, I'm not doing them all the same size. I'm stopping and starting as I feel. When I, you know, when it's had enough, leave it at that. But if I am coming up to one and it's, it sort of touches, then, you know, make it go underneath so you can still carry on if you want. You don't have to stop. So that's it. That's what we're coming to here, Luke. So if I stop there, Luke, and it's going to go underneath. Okay. And I'm, not, I'm going all the way up to the end of the tile. So no borders today. We were looking at where our string was, or maybe that wavy line to start with was a string. Okay, see this bit here? I'm just going to fill that little bit in. Make it look like it's going behind. <laughs> Still at it. <laughs> Me too. Me too, Leslie. Just following it all the way around there we go just keep it going the beauty about this one is every single one's going to be different on your page let alone what we the one that we're looking at together so it's, it's nice if you know it's a wavy line so if you've got a bit of a shaky hand it's fine actually adds to it so you've got a bit of a bit of an advantage today there we go so I'm going to fill that corner in there's a little bit there I'm going to fill in that. and then I'm going to do the same I'll leave that one there so you can see it I'm going to do the same on the next so a little dot create that way I did mention before, I am perhaps going a little bit faster than normal, so if, if the pace is picked up and you can't keep up, please don't worry about it. It 
it's, uh, it's just that I, I want to make sure that I get through everything so you can see the final results rather than me going too slow and you don't see the, uh, the finished tile. It's a different way of doing this anyway. It's something you might not have thought about just because a tile's a certain size. If you haven't got time you don't want to do it, then cut it up and make four tiles. Oh, hey Joe. Yep, yeah, I remember I packaged it. Actually, I did get some out before the session. John did nip up to the post office and post some for me. And he's had to go and get some more stamps. So, so yeah, so with this, we're doing the same patterns on these tiles and you'll see why in a little while. But if you don't want to do a full size, put your tile into four and just do the patterns we've done before but do a miniature version and that could be quite nice to see what that works out like well, I think that's less of a, a panic then isn't it if you're using a smaller size it doesn't matter so much or you look at it that you've got four tries four goes and then when you're confident enough then, then do a larger one so I said that the eight centimeters tile we use isn't particularly large, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. See, so I'm not trying to replicate this. I'm using the same pattern. You see, look. But I'm not trying to keep it the same. Oh, hey, Pauline, you'll be addicted. You will. If you want to, uh, if you want to blend your polychromos, I've mentioned before, a little bit of baby oil and a very small brush and use really really small amounts and you'll be amazed at the results and the beauty of that as well is once your your baby oil sort of dries you can go back in and add another layer of color oh, Julie your kit definitely left here I can remember doing that because I always try and <laughs> I always try and pronounce your second name so I always remember I've never I don't think I've quite got it yet I don't know I'm not going to say it though, in case I haven't, do apologise. But yeah, it's it's on its way, it's coming. And the post box I use, people are getting their mail from it, so it's not like it's it's not being collected, it's just, it's just delayed. These posties are having quite a job at the minute, I'm sure. My postie keeps smiling though, he's great. Okay. So, so far then, let's have a look at those. Got two going. Now oh, look, yeah. All right, let's do another one. So if nothing else, by the end of this, you're gonna really, really know this tangle well. Do you know what, that's something that we try and teach in class. It's, it's not about giving you a handout so you can remember or learn this as, as you go it's all about muscle memory and not worrying about can I can't I create this pattern because you know it you've used it and it's repetitive so then you can slow down and focus in on just filling in that little bubble or mark or bubble whatever you want to call it and you just go with the flow and you continue just auroring around that last one adding them bubbles as you go and then only then when you think you know what that spirals enough it's grown as much as I want it to let's just start another one Can you see now my my hand and the, the pen's doing its own thing, I'm just guiding it along and it's sort of in flow now and you'll be amazed at how quick these build. Oh hey Simon, yeah. remember writing your address on an envelope today too, so I'll get that in the post at the end of the day. Actually, I thought, you know, you, we were ready now for a bit of a challenge. I'm sure we all are. 
and we've done enough cream tiles now and squares so in our our new kit there's a few different shapes I want us to try Yeah, that's sort of coming on nicely. Oh, Pauline, I'm, I'm sorry. I, it's not, it's not meant to be fast. It's meant to be slow. But I want to make sure I get through the whole tile before sort of the hours up, so you can see where it's heading, and then you can go back and do it at your own leisure. So even if you only do one of them, and then just you know watch where it's going, you can fill the others in as you get on later. Please, I'm not, I'm not expecting you to keep up with me on this one, so don't panic or think, oh, I've got a rush. Not at all. I just want to make sure that you, you can see the end result. Okay. I mean, does everybody now, do we all tangle at least once a day? Or, or do you find it's, you know, it's... We're tangling all day. I think I do sometimes. But, uh, even if it's just for you know, just for ten minutes while the tea's cooking. It uh, it relaxes you and it just sort of gives you that, you know, ten minutes away from the the world for a little while. Things will go back to how they were. But, well, I'm not sure if it will be exactly, but will this still be part of your life? Do you think? Do you think it'll it'll disappear with the time once you go back to work? All oh, day, Leslie. Yeah. Oh, tangled your nails. I bet that looks pretty good. But it works with these pens. I think sometimes I've drawn on them without thinking about it. Amazing what you could find to tangle on. Oh, yeah. But you know what? I always think the dust will be there you know, when you've finished. And then when you dust, it, it, it comes back. Why does the dust come back? But when you've got something like this and you've done it, it's there forever. And you can keep it. You know, some of these, imagine some of these in little box frames you know, in your hallway on the stairs or you know, when you look at them you think back you think gosh remember when I did that one it's when we had that lockdown business you know, it just brings memories back but they just look divine you know in a little white frame maybe or a black frame we'll put so many together and make one big mosaic which I still need to deal with actually got your mosaics to do oh Rita yeah that's a good one yeah just a bit bit at a time it's nice to see that grow to a dream catcher's beautiful I knew you'd love it so, how are we getting on with this do you imagine doing a, a few of these and then adding a little bow or some leaves to it using it as a card topper. I just think you've made your own sort of flowers there, haven't you? You've drawn your own image, your own artwork. And all it is is a squiggly line with a few bobbles. Mm -hmm. Oh Bridget, your dogs settle. I've got one that does. Actually but Seth moves from the window where he lies down and watches the day go by or he lies on the sofa and goes to sleep. And there was Benji. Not a chance. I don't know if you've ever had it though. He, he, he talks to you. He whimpers and moans even when he's not looking at you. If he's on your knee. He still moans. I'm sure it's like, Mum, your knee's too lumpy. What it is, but it does. it's really funny. It would be really funny that he pinched my pizza the other night. Took it off my plate when I wasn't looking, and as much as I told him off, he, he just looked so cute. 
I didn't give it to him now. I did tell him off. Okay, here we go then. So let's have a look at that for a minute. All right, so we've got a little bit of a, a pattern going on. And we could have done that on a, on a full tile without cutting it out, but we couldn't have done that, could we? We couldn't have done that. You can see that we've now got different pattern there. Or what if I wanted to do it like that? Or maybe like that. You see now we're starting to get some different possibilities. So, yeah. All right, you ready for a new pattern? So, moving those out of the way, I'm just gonna focus on this one. Now, I'm gonna draw in some bubbles, but they're gonna be a little bit larger than I perhaps normally would do. Uh, I'm obviously gonna have to put some slightly smaller ones in just to fill the space. But I'm gonna make some large ones. So, I'm gonna fill in the gaps as I go. Let's have another one there. I think sometimes, because if you're not careful, you know, when you draw one right next to the other, you end up with a pattern and it, you don't want that, you want random. So you see where sometimes I will actually go away and do one on its own and then come back and fill in. See, so even there and there's just a little one in there. It just gives it that randomness that I'm after. I'm not going to leave it at that, but you can see at the minute, yeah, some bubbles. Let's get one in that end now. Okay, so I'm going to take the largest one here. So, working in this one, I'm going to create, I'd say a square, but it's not going to be a square, because we've not started with a perfect circle, so there we go. I've got a sort of a square shape, okay? So then inside there, touching all the sides, and I'm going to put another bubble in it. All right. And then I'm going to do another squarish shape, but instead of starting like I did before, I'm going to start here. So I'm creating, it's a square, but it's sort of slightly on its side. And then a circle on the inside of that one, a bubble. And then this time, back to that square, and then a circle, and then sort of that diamondy shape, and then just squeeze a circle in in the middle. So let's just move that out a little bit. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, a little bit um, rose-like. So let's come back to it. Let's do that again. So, in there, with that four-sided sort of shape, which is definitely not a square, but you see where that's going. Then that bubble. And then it's sort of the square on its side, or more of a diamond shape. Oh, it is Bernadette, isn't it? I do like this one. And again, imagine doing this with some little... Um, leaves match sort of like coming out make a nice little uh, set of roses for a tag or something so now I'm going to continue that pattern in all those bubbles mm. now you know you're saying but some of them are so small so obviously this one here I can squeeze a little bit in but these ones I'll probably leave and it gives it a nice contrast just keep turning your tile as you go though, because you don't really want them all in the same direction. You want to move them about a little bit. Just make sure you're following that pattern each time.
Scan. So, scan. That muscle memory is kicking in. And as much thing, oh, I never remember it, which one. It sort of starts to come to you. And you work it round. Taking your time as you can. See, I know my pace is a bit quicker today. But you only have to do the one. I'm trying to get the four done. So you can see what it looks like when it's done. Just working my way, taking my time. I like to see this one grow actually. And it's nice just to see how how small you can actually go. Uh, we're restricted with the size of pen, but if you've got a thinner pen, it's uh, amazing how small you can go. So you can see that I have still got some bit. There's bubbles left. I'm going to leave them. Don't worry about that. Might get one in there though, look. And then the gaps, I'm going to go ahead and fill them in. I want some drama with this one, so I want to see that black background. Just fill in those gaps. It's a little bit trickier to see now. We've, we've filled all that in. It's quite a bit around the edge though, isn't there? Put a bubble in there. You've got a large gap. Put another bubble in it. It's nice to give that contrast. How's that looking? Mm -hmm. So let's have a look at that. Okay. So again, seeing how it turns, as we can, you know, see different things in it as we're going. Do you know what, <laughs> when, I, when I zoom out, it just means, Gracie, that you don't see all those marks. I mean, you wouldn't perhaps look at yours so closely. And I know you can see all those rough little bits around the edges, but that's what we're looking at, isn't it? And that's where we're at with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill in just as I've done before with the others. Now you see why I did larger bubbles this time. So we want to try and get as many of those sort of roses in as we can. Those actually, um, they look a bit like there was a Scottish designer that did stylistic roses. They well, remind me of him, they look a little bit similar. Sort of very Art Deco kind of style, isn't it? amazing isn't it when you look at this and we've just done these sort of funny bubble shapes and it goes from that to that a difference let's go in a little bit more i think this time i'm going to fill in my space before i fill in my bubbles because i can see it a little clearer just working my way around just covering in those gaps Oh, Pauline, yeah, you should give this one a go. It, I don't know which one's more, more sort of addictive. I mean, they do look really, really pretty on their own, but putting them together, they were lovely. Let's see, I'll get some more bubbles in there, look. And in there. Let's keep it going. Filling in that space. Get a few more in there. Working that way. Okay. So then I'm back into putting in those patterns that I did before. All the same as before. So I started with that funny square, then in with that bubble, then that white diamond. Bubble, square, bubble, diamond. So there's a bit of, so well, not a bit of a pattern, it's definitely a pattern, isn't it, that one? So just keep it going. Just turn your tile every now and again because we don't really want them all going the same way. It 
it's just nice to have a little bit of a break up of it. So let's put them that way. And if you feel that your arm's getting a little bit tight or it's cramping up a little bit, just ease off your pen. Um, now and again we find that we're focusing on what we're doing and the pressure we forget and it gets a little bit in depth doesn't it so just ease off a little bit let the pen do the work rather than you let it flow of course that lovely little fine tip is just going to do what it does best to move over the paper I love doing these when you've got going for quite a bit, you find that you're saying it to yourself. Square, bubble, diamond, bubble, square, bubble, diamond, bubble. And again, that's, that sort of takes that zen a little bit deeper. Because you're not worrying anymore about what's going on around you. Whether the kids are arguing, whether the dishes are still in the sink. Whether the washing machine stopped, who cares? It'll still be there. What we're worried about is getting each one of these, filling that space, working it round. No rush. But if you just, you know, work, concentrate on doing the one. And then you can repeat these a little later. Or maybe two as I'm doing these. I think I found it. I'm happier now filling this space in before I fill in the shapes. I can just see it a little more clearly as I'm going. I'm quite enjoying. That's the one. That's the one of that. Yeah. He did uh, a lot of them in the glass, didn't he? So, just fill in my gaps in. So, I might even go back later and do another layer of black and some of these gaps because I, I'm aware, I know I'm, f I'm not quite filling them in. But even then, you know, it might add to the overall effect when it's done, so... I'll see what it looks like when it's finished. So you can see here that I'm back in work, square, bubble, diamond, bubble, square, bubble. Start with that square again, bubble, diamond, bubble, square, bubble, diamond, bubble. Just keep it going. So you don't go as fast as I am. I'm just working, as I say, to get all four done so you can see the effect. And you don't have to work in all these tiny ones. Some of them it's nice to just sort of... Oh, sorry, I'm going off a little bit there. You can see, I was getting too focused on my tile and not looking at my camera. And before you know it, I'm swizzling off, off, the, off the page. As it goes. A square, bubble, diamond, bubble, square. Diamond, bubble, square. But we're all saying that now, aren't we? We're still saying that tonight. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, there you go. So now I realise I was uh, swirling off onto one then. Still, but I've got another one to do so I can go back over what we're doing. There we are. Last one there. Oh, no, put one there. Okay. So, one more to do. Again, we're in with those larger bubbles first. You see, pop some in different places because we don't want to have a pattern forming we want to try and you know, create a lot of them as we go and then you can
can fill in. Oh, sorry, am I up with my hand over what I'm doing? That better sorry <laughs> yeah I was in the zone see that's uh, that's what happens and you forget just focusing on what we're doing there see there we go. Got some little bubbles oh no Sam and I've not had oat cakes in months but anybody who doesn't know, Stoke-on-Trent are the best oat cakes in the world. You can't just go and get them from a supermarket. It's just not happening. You have to have the real thing. So my mum usually brings them up when she comes to visit. But of course, she's not visiting at the minute. She's on a serious lockdown. She's not allowed out. Some might say she should never be allowed out. My husband mumbled something then. <laughs> you know what, so, some, somebody once, I actually, you know, brought some oat cakes up and said, oh, you know, to try them, and I gave him some to try. And I'm sorry, but he put jam on them. I was like, what? What are you doing? You can't put jam on oat cakes. It's not done. Oh, see, I'm tasting oat cakes now. Oh, so I'm not going to try and get you to do something silly I'm not trying to hypnotise you at all but I know what you mean it is and that's the whole idea that you sort of relax with it let's just uh, take it easy there we go let's go a little bit bigger oh Apparently Simon orders his, John, Simon orders his oat cakes online. Wow. Sorry, just informing my husband. I think he's going to go on the internet and have a look. There we go. And then back into the, that one. Okay. All right, I'll go a little bit larger and I'll do one even slower so you can see how I've done it. You ready? So, two sides, and I've created a square ish shape, then slowly around so it touches all the sides, and then to where my square is, I'm then going to go in with square on its side so it's like a diamond, then back in with my bubble. And back to the square, back to the bubble, diamond in the middle. So here we go, square, bubble, diamond, bubble, square, bubble. Everybody's going to want to order oat cakes now. We're going to have a massive influx of people going online and ordering. But don't put jam on them. The, the cheese, bacon, not jam. Sacrilege. My husband's laughing at me now. I'm doing the look on my face and he said he'd put jam on them. I was like, what are you doing? Let's get back in the zone. We're all jealous now that Simon's having oat cakes, but at least he burnt them, so we don't we don't feel so bad. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, here we go. So, yeah. And again, I think this is one that is going to sort of be embroiled in our, our brains now because we've done quite a few of them. But it is a really nice one to do, and I think once you do get in the zone, and you uh, start to fill in each of those shapes, it, it does work quite quickly. Let's fill that one in. Okay. 
sometimes you know when you're actually doing something and you're doing quite a lot of them you do go a little bit deeper and your breathing slows you can see that I you know even I went off on one there for a little while and I'm the one that's teaching you <laughs> okay. almost done Oh, that last one there, and then we can have a thought. Oh well, I'm gonna do one there. Okay. Oh, right, so let's have a look at what we've got so far now then. So we've got our four little tiles, and here's the pattern that we started with, and here's the pattern that we've just worked on. So looking at it now, we could put it together, which as I say before, we could have just used that as a tile and done that pattern, but we couldn't have done that with it, or that with it. And you see how we can start to create different things as to where we're going to go with it. So just to finish off with the pen work, I'm going to go in on this section I'm not going to fill all of it in but I'm going to add in some of those little bubbles There's some of them th here on the edge they can be quite close together but then they start to break off and uh, go off onto their own little journey so I don't want to worry about too many Grace, it beans, no. Do you know when I was in hospital last year? Um, I couldn't really eat much because I don't do bread and I don't do the dairy. And that's all they did, sandwiches or yoghurt. Or <laughs> and they did offer to do me a baked potato. The first day I, I had this baked potato and that was all it was, just a baked potato. Nothing else, just that. Which, okay, if you're hungry, you'd eat it. And then the following day, the nurse complained a little bit to the staff, catering staff, and said, oh, she can't just have a baked potato, that's not right. She needs something to eat. Certainly they were trying to give me a load of pills. So she said, have a baked potato with some beans. And I thought, oh, okay, I can, I can go there, I can do that. So in she came with this baked potato, and I'm not kidding you, it looked as small as a pebble. The amount of beans that was on this plate was absolutely well I can't describe it I really can't and I just thought I can't eat I can't eat it I was so overwhelmed and there were so many and you know they think when you've not been eating very well and they suddenly bring you this huge plate out with an enormous amount of one thing you just think no and since then I, I can't even open a tin of beans <laughs> they can't Maybe one day, but, but not today. And certainly not on my oat cakes. <laughs> okay, you can see, look, there's two. <laughs> With these bubbles on. Let's work on. Oh, look, even could do it this way, look. There we are, just mix and match it. There we are. Let's put some more bubbles on. Again, remember on the line, I've gone quite close. But as it comes away from this line, I'm, I'm adding more in and it's they're getting further and further away some that are even little dots it's sort of like they're breaking away almost Stay. on both sides now if you feel that you want to oh, turn your tile as you do either side to, as you go in, that's fine. Okay, I'm just working my way down. All different sizes, but nowhere near being perfect circles, but that's not what we want. Almost, one more to do. Adding in. Yes, yes, Sheila, that's what it just looked like. It was not pleasant. 
They couldn't keep me in for long. It's a good job, really. I would think I'd have starved to death. Hey Debbie. So I'm just doing the final preparation here. Remember, really close here. And then letting them break away as they get closer. I'm not filling the whole space. I'm just doing little bits. Let's have a few more in there. Just so it's sort of moving from one to the other. Some of them can be just dots. <laughs> oh, Debbie, you're going to have to show me when you've done yours, what it looks like. I'm just showing you the possibilities. Okay, let's have a look at where we're at now then. So I've got these four mini tiles. And they've got three, oh, three tangles on there, really. So here we go, let's have a look now at some pencil work. So moving in. So starting with this original line, this wavy line that we drew. And again, see I'm using the side of my pencil. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna add quite a bit of graphite. You see, turn it round and do the same again. Come all the way down. I'm going to go ahead and do that on the others as well. Into there. See, I'm not being very fussy there at all. I'm just, as long as it's sort of on the inside there, I'm putting quite a bit down. But, uh, not trying to be really neat about it because I, I don't need to be. That's why I taught you there. Okay. So, coming to this pattern. I'm going to add a little bit on one side. You see, like a little smile. Yeah. And again, I've added, I've added quite a bit there. I'm obviously in that kind of mood today. Right. Uh, Charlotte, no, I'm not using a thicker pen. It's exactly the same pen that was in our original little starter kit. So it's the, the O2 Micron. I think I've just, I've added a bit more black I've coloured a bit more in today which is possibly why it it looks a bit darker but no it's the same pen see I'm just picking each one up and again I'm just adding that little smile sort of thing in half of that shape and I'm doing I'm doing all of them as I go because then I'm, I'm, I'm sort of staying in the same mode with the pencil there we go so this side I'm going to add a little bit of graphite to, see to that line, but see I'm working on the inside of this pattern now and I'm going to add some to this side and some to this side. See, hang on a second. So I'll add it to this side, to this, and I go to this side and then this side. Alright, that to one side same here so I'm, I'm filling in I'm not trying to put any shading on individual shapes there I'm doing the whole section as one thing yeah. same for this last one okay now for the tortillon Deep breath, here we are. So, my line. I'm just gonna make it out a bit. Now, remember, I, I did put quite a lot of graphite on this, quite a lot of pencil, but I still don't want it to go all the way into the center. So, I'm just very, very gently smoothing it out. I just want to sort of lose that rough line there and just work it in one side to the other then section here oh hi mom 
Are you all right? We were talking about you earlier. In a nice way, of course. Yeah. All right. And then here, I'm just gonna smooth this one. Smooth this one. Yeah. Oh, Debbie. Yeah. Come on. Come over for a lesson. That'll be fun. I've never been in one of your classes once. That was fun. <laughs> You and uh, you and me with Jackie. Remember with Jackie? Yeah, it was the foiling one. We've done a foiling class, haven't we? And we did um, embossing, and we made that box. And I remember that a lady complains because she got a different box for some reason. So I swapped with her. Yeah, that was fun because we had too many people turn up. I think and that, that was funny. Back in the day. So you see again, I'm leaving space in the middle there. I'm leaving that white mark and it's making my darks look darker. And it's giving you that little bit of smart, uh, sparkle. sparkle. So again, working my way ever so gently in swirls along that edge. Just trying to not go too close to the middle. And the same on this side. And then with this pattern here, we're just smoothing in that half. We're not touching the top at all, just the half. And then on this one, smoothing that edge and then I'm just going along this one and along this one so I'm leaving that guy you see how light that looks in the middle that's just because the pencils around it and when I came on my last one so back in again ever so gently I'm just working my way around in circles not going into the center same on this one. Keep them around. Little smiles, almost. Just working in that half. And then here, I'm just going around that edge. Along here. And along here. Okay. So let's have a look at all of them together. So, okay, so let's start with it like this way. Let's put that one there and that one there. So we've got this pattern. Now I know not everybody's got their emergency kit, but if you have and you've got, a, or if you've got a white pen, I'm going to go in a little bit larger. I've got my white pen. And I'm just going to add. Some white, so I'm going to go over, you know, where we've just got to get it going. There we go. Where we've added those bubbles in, but we've got graphite over them. I'm going to go in and just add some white over them. I mean, you could go in with a different colour if you wanted. Just gives it a little bit of some. Let's have a look at that. You see there where it started to sort of pull a few out? Not all of them, just a few, and it just starts to build some depth. This is where we, we're going to go a little bit. We're going to add a few bits and pieces in over the next few sessions. There we go. And a few in there. Imagine, I mean, doing this with if you've got a glaze pen, I mean, a lot of us are crafters as well, so if you've got things lying around, you know, clear glaze or a coloured glaze, even anything you want to use, you can come in and, and start to add those extra bits in there. That's it. 
Now the way, obviously, when you're using a, a gel pen, it's going to take a little bit longer to dry, so don't sort of run your fingers over it because it'll smudge. There we go. All right, so it's just added a little bit. It just makes them look a little bit different. Okay. So let's just bring that up a little bit. There we go. So looks bigger, doesn't it? Looks bigger. So what if we were to move this one? Move this one. So now it's up to you as, as to where you want to put these elements. Let's try it with that in the middle and how you want it to look. It just gives you a different point of view, doesn't it, as to where it's going to go. So what are you going to do with it and how are you going to put this in your journal? Well, of course, the first thing you've got to do is, is, real, is sort of work out which way round you're going to have it. Are you going to have the pattern all in the middles? Are you going to have it moving around a little bit? Are you going to split it off a touch? There's so many ways. It's a case, just have a little play with them and see what you can do. Um, but I'm going to move that to one side for a minute. And I'm going to show you one that's in progress. I'll do it this way then you'll see all of it there we go so you can see that where we started here's my sort of original line and I've actually had it so these sort of roses are all in the middle but I've split it up so it's not a, it's almost jigsaw it's not a perfect shape there but then I've used a light gray pen and you can see here on the edges I've gone in let me make that a bit closer so you can see it I've gone in and I've actually completed the shape that stopped on the edge of the tile and then the bubbles I've continued these bubbles onto my page and you see I've started to add in a little bit of color so I've got black and gray there and I've got some of these nice little pastel colors to add in and then in the center I've started to build so you see this pattern here I've gone in and I've used again a grey pen to sort of add some sections and I've started to add some little leaves to it so there's still a little bit to do there I think a few bits and pieces but do you know what for for an hour I mean that probably took me about an hour 20 it's just nice to a few I mean again I've used photo corners but only on two sides but you can you can use photo corners on all four you could use just one, you could have it in a row if you like. It's entirely up to you what you do with it. It's just nice to have something a bit different. You know, we, we've done 14 square cream tiles now and, and they're all beautiful and they're all different in their own right. But this just shows you how you can break it up a little bit and do something different with it. So just to sort of come back to the one that we've worked on, here's our and it's entirely up to you now which way you have them the possibilities I don't know what you can actually do with them there we go so look at that one going all, all four it, it would make a lovely border down the bottom wouldn't it and then you could do something across the top so um, yeah by all means have a play with it see what you what you feel like doing and then put it into your journal um, maybe i don't know maybe you decide that you do want to put it into a frame split it off join it together whatever you want to do but it's just a nice way of, of looking at something from a different perspective isn't it so i hope you've had fun with this one uh, just as a reminder then on wednesday i am going to be using a black tile if you haven't got a black tile don't worry about it you can still use a cream one it just means instead of using the white pen you're going to use your black pen as normal but if you want to use a different colored gel pen then by all means use a different colored gel pen it's entirely up to you um, but yeah we'll see see how we go with that i've got a few black tiles in mind a few planned uh, and a couple of different shaped ones as well so quite a few interesting things coming up so i hope that's giving you a little bit of a break this afternoon have a have a play with it as i say and, and let me see what you've done with it i'll look forward to that and all being well everybody we'll see you back here on wednesday at two o'clock 
I'm out. You take care, and I'll see you soon. Right, bye.